Hello and welcome to another Solana tutorial. This one is going to be a quick update on Metaplex Token Metadata program, specifically how to name your token. We made several videos about this in the past. The first one was still about the GitHub repo that is not used anymore. The second one was about update metadata v2, which doesn't exist anymore. So we yet again have to do an update on how to name your token. Thanks, Metaplex. So this past week, I got a lot of requests from people. Oh, why is this not working anymore? It used to work a week ago. And the answer has usually been, well, Metaplex just disabled the update metadata v2. So you got to fix that. And allegedly, the story goes that Metaplex disabled this instruction because they want to downsize the program, which, you know, fair enough, you need to uh, progressively improve your programs and stuff. And at some point you just can't keep backward compatibility anymore. However, that, you know, screwed over a few people and programs, especially the ones that are immutable, they're just fucked now. Bad luck, Strata. But anyway, I'm not here to bash on Metaplex. I mean, this is just how we work here on Solana. We ship quickly and break quickly, really, is what we do. Ship quickly, break quickly, and then fix quickly. Because the alternative is to, you know, write papers about everything and research it properly before you build it. But then we have Cardano and it just takes forever to ship anything. So choose your weapon, choose your chain. Solana is and stays chewing glass. And I'm trying to help you navigate the glass fields. Anyway, let's get to the point, Andy. What are you even talking about? Long, long time ago here. SBL token name and logo. This video. There, I see it. We did a create, create metadata account v2 instruction. <coughs> I don't think that exists anymore. Which also means that this repo is broken. Like the thing I did. And people came to me and said, no, it's not working anymore. I'm like, yeah, figure it out yourself. Damn it, it's not that hard. But okay, since people don't want to figure it out themselves, here I am, once again, fixing it for you. No, I'm not mad at anyone here. This is how it goes. I mean, you got a, their choice to do it that way. So here we go. And the good news is most of you will be able to fix it because it's just a quick front end stuff that you change. You just gotta go from V2 to V3 and add an account, that's it. The only problem is for immutable programs. They are screwed. Yeah, I did a nice FUT token, I remember. The initialize was with create metadata V2 and the update metadata account V2. I think both of them are broken. So since this is just a file, Let's quickly copy the file. Cool. We put in the same code. Let's see what we actually do here. We load a wallet. Sure, let's do that. W A for wallet, WAC, yo, and T O for token, TOW. And this must already be a mint. SPL token, create token, the WAC. Nah, this is not gonna work anyway. Good, because obviously we have sold there already. Uh, the token we want to create, not the WAC. Token. So creating token, cool. Could of course do that with an instruction as well on the token program. Point is we created the token now just so we can create a metadata account for that token. So here we just need the token address. Perfect, so we have a wallet, we have a token. And then we, you know, build all of the metadata accounts, da -da -da -da, what? We derive all the PDAs, da, da da and we give some name, super token for you. Yeah. We actually don't care about this too much. Perfect, I'll, I'll just reuse this because I'm too lazy to do anything else. And now I'm gonna demonstrate how this is not working anymore, yes. And that's the classic error that people have reported as well. Fail to serialize or deserialize account data unknown. It's a bit of a weird error that doesn't really give you the idea of what is going wrong here. Essentially, we're forcing the V2 into the V3, I think, and then it doesn't have one account. That could be, because we are calling the token metadata program. Actually, let's look at, I thought I'd do a quick video 
So first get to the point and it just fix it. And then we can do that deep dive into looking into rabbit holes. So how do we fix this? Well, easiest way is to not use the create metadata account v2 instruction, but create metadata account v3 instruction, which doesn't have create metadata account arcs v2, but create metadata account v3 instruction arcs. So they are uh, create metadata. And then we see they have the create metadata account v3 instead of v2. And then the thing that's missing in here, if we hover over that, pro tip, always get types when you're working with TypeScript because then it tells you what you're missing and then you can quickly fix those. There we go. Property collection details is missing in type, but is required in create metadata account arcs v3. So what we need here is to add collection details. It suggests it all, right? So collection details is an option. So if we don't want a collection, can we put null? Let's see if we can just put null. And then essentially the rest stays the same. And boom, we fixed that. Let's see if it works. Yeah, easy as that. That's it. We fixed it. We named our token. So if we were to check that on chain, this account. There. FUD. Pure FUD. Worked. And if I want to update it now, I set this initialize to false. And then it does the update, which again will be broken. Let me demonstrate. Come on. What? That worked? Okay, so I guess the update metadata works with the v2 still. Okay, fair enough. Then I don't need to update that. But is there a metadata? Oh no, there is not even a v3 for that. Okay, so that stays the same. Just the create metadata account v2 instruction was killed. Okay, so that's all that we need to change then. Perfect. Ideal. Easy. Right? If you can change your programs just add collection null or if you want collection details obviously put the collection details in there but you know so to finish this off just because i can't leave it i want to see the source code i mean it's kind of weird that i keep it in there but have it not work instead of just removing it from here as well whatever no i stop i stop looking i stop looking into it i stop looking into it i just accept that this is the way we gotta do it, so this is the way we do it. Boom, end of story, end of video. See you next time. I will, of course, update this on GitHub. What a great commit message. Good. And with that, I shall leave you, because that was just a quick little update. You can now watch those longer videos and uh, subscribe and like, and I see you in the next update or video. Till then, bye-bye.